Hi, I'm Tammy Steinbeck and I create quick tutorials on a variety of photographic software to help you get up to speed more quickly. Today's episode is about assigning keywords to your photos in Lightroom 5. Assigning keywords will make it easier to sort through your collection of photos at a later date. This is especially true if you have thousands of images in your Lightroom catalog. Okay, let's get started. So today we're going to talk about keywords and it's important to have keywords, I think, on your images so that you can go back later on and and find you know a particular image. I've got in my catalog over here if we look I've got 25,000 images so it can be really difficult to find an image from you know two years ago to even two weeks ago. I have a file folder structure that I use that keeps things fairly organized but it's still you know some of these folders if you look over here you know, there's 1700 pictures in this one folder um, it's still going to be hard to find a particular image that I'm thinking about. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some keywords to um, these images. I'm going to look at these, what I got, nine pictures of my dogs. Um, so this, we'll start with this image right here. If you go over to the right side of the, uh, the library module in the panel here, there's an area called keyword tags. I'm just going to click in there and I'm going to, I usually put the year in, so it's 2014, and I'm just going to hit return. So now this image, if I look at this other image here, there's no keywords. The first image that I just worked on says 2014. Um, and that's just, for me, it's a good way to keep things, you know, at least one level of organization. But clearly I need to add some other keywords here as well. So I'm going to actually highlight because one thing that you can do is you can add keywords to multiple images at the same time. So I'm going to highlight all of these images of the black dog. His name is Hobbs. And I'm going to go ahead and let's just clear that out for a second. We'll put 2014 in there. And all you have to do is separate them by a comma. And you can add more. Um, let's see, it's fall. For me, I just like to keep the seasons in my uh, keywords. He's a dog. Um, pets and all my I can pull up all my pets uh, images together and in this case his name is Hobbs so I'm just gonna put that in there hit return and now if I go off of him if I scroll back over here I can see that all four images of Hobbs have the same tags or keywords which is what I wanted to do so next up is Cosmo so I'm going to select all the pictures of Cosmo and now many of the uh, keywords are going to be the same for Cosmo. If you look down here they've got keyword suggestions and look what's here the same ones that I just entered 2014, fall, dog, Hobbs, pets. So one way that I can um, can quickly put a keyword in is just click on it. So I got 2014 uh, now I have fall pets, dog. Now the only difference between um, the first set and the second set is the, the name of the, the animal. So I'm just going to put a comma in there and type in Cosmo. So there you go. So right now all four, or I mean all nine images are tagged correctly. Another way to um, add keywords to your, your photos is to use this little spray can that's down at the bottom of the library module. And what that lets you do is selectively hover over the image that you want to add the keyword to and then click once you get to the picture that you want. So in this case, what I did was I kind of scrambled the dogs so that uh, they're not all next to each other. So I'm going to click on the, uh, the can. And what I want to do is add the um, preset that I used for each of these images. In this case, for the ones with Hobbs, I used Kodak Ektar 100. These are all Vesco Cam presets, which are kind of fun. Anyway, you um, hover over the picture and then just click. It's kind of like it's spraying the keyword on there. I'm going to put the keyword or the spray can back. Let's just look at this image here. And sure enough, Kodak Ektar 100 has been added as a preset. So we can do the same thing with Cosmo. In his case, it was Agfa, which is there. And I'm just going to click click, 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 click. 
the spray can back and look at a picture of Cosmo and sure enough it's been added as well. So that's just another way to add um, a uh, keyword to your keyword list. The final way that I um, like to put keywords onto my pictures is to do it right when I import the images to begin with. So I'm going to select these images of the cat. I couldn't let the dogs have all the fun. And over on the right side of the import um, module, it shows, it says keywords. It's the same type of box that we saw in the library module. So here I can type in the same tags that I added and same keywords that I added before. So 2014, um, fall, pet, cat. In this case, the uh, cat's name is Rocky. So I'll type that in. And I'm going to hit import. And now all of these tags will be applied to each image as they come in. So you can see over here already, this image is highlighted. And sure enough, keyword tags 2014, cat, fall, pets, and Rocky have been added. So that's a real easy way to do it and just kind of not have to go back and not really think about it. You just do it upon import, walk away, and when you get back to your desk, all your images are there and they are properly keyworded. So I hope that helps you understand how to use keyword tagging on your images. It really is a good way to um, keep your images organized and certainly to be able to find images in the future. And I will do another um, lesson upcoming here real soon about how you use those keywords to search for the images that you're looking for. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon.